by popular demand i am giving you guys the best black ops 6 settings and controller settings right now in this video but first of all we will be starting off with the controller settings just to kind of get that over and done with so the kind of controller settings are kind of simple i use tactical flipped um i use the stick layout as pre uh, default obviously 10 10 cents um i have the simplify controls a preset off low strain preset off as well bumper bing off and use the swap of l1 and r1 very important controller vibration is off is very very important a lot of people don't realize how much has an effect on ads and kind of like weapon recoil and all that type of stuff uh trigger effect is off as well dead zones again this is a very 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 important one left minimum down to 0 0.3 or a zero right depending on how good your control is right minimum down to a 0 0.3 as a like a minimum and it, again if you have really bad stick drift whack it up now there is one thing which i do agree uh you know would definitely agree with having is definitely the left trigger and right trigger down means that when you press these triggers it actuates pretty quickly now the aiming again very very important i have everything on uh, uh you know 1.0 uh, aim advanced settings um i have everything on gradual so rather than instant so basically every single time that you ads if you had it on instant it just snap towards the target but if you have it gradual if the target's moving left to right definitely way better uh aim response curve is, is is a mixture between standard and dynamic it really does depend on the player um i do mix this up quite a lot i, I played a good like uh 10 rounds with a standard i played a good 10 rounds with dynamic i can't really decide what's better but definitely have the aim response curve slope scale to one if you have anything less you're gonna be hindering yourself majorly um so target aim assist is on uh move it to movement auto uh so a sprint aim uh, assist put that to uh sprint assist uh as that and obviously have that whacked up to to a thousand i mean sorry zero sorry keep it down to zero so basically there's no delay when you're you're having your tactical sprint so again if you want tactical sprint this is what it is it usually defaulted off put it to on have that off uh, it's a zero and have these two on um definitely have that mantle assist definitely have it off because it kind of can hinder you uh crouch assist definitely have that off and definitely corner slice have that off usually it's default to on have it off it's so annoying um it just means that you know you're, you're moving left to right it kind of doesn't you know have that really annoying outburst type thing uh, so auto door peak have that to off auto airborne mantle have that to on sprint restore to have that to on uh, slide and maintain sprint to have that to on parachute automatic behavior free fall mantle on movement speed the, uh, like the auto you know have that to toggle auto move forward off you definitely don't want that on some people have that on a mouse and keyboard but i don't really recommend it single tap sprint definitely uh on don't have it to double tap or all that type of stuff uh plunging underwater is your trigger rather than free sprinting through doors is on definitely have that on combat again a lot of this type of stuff is kind of default um but you know ads hold ads plus melee for for, uh, for mountain a uh, dedicated weapon activation is a hold melee so basically um in warzone especially you can pull out a knife and you can have unlimited attack sprint so i have that set to hold melee you can have that as a uh, you know in your weapon cycle i don't think it should kind of overcomplicates it it's kind of muscle memory to change between one and two uh, so put it to hold melee apply all armor plates on all again if you're playing zombies or when war zone is going to be a thing have it on all c4 detonation all at once combat settings again these are kind of all um kind of all default uh tap to reload but when we play war zone prioritize interacts uh, and everything else kind of keep it as default on here you know change d-pad ping um you know don't change much of this on here it, it, you know a deplete ammo switch definitely have it helpful to have it on like that but again you don't need to it really does depend on the players some people don't like it some people prefer to melee i have it on because if i have like a pistol or a submachine gun as my secondary it just you know helps to switch scoreboard toggle don't have it on old uh, overlay um just keep that as the you know uh the default graphics i'm going to briefly go through these i'm not going to touch on them too much but kind of the important ones is to have nvidia reflex low latency on um 
scroll down a little bit have eco mode presets efficiency v-sync off v-sync in the menus doesn't really matter custom frame rates are unlimited uh scroll down a little bit as well hdr off make sure that's off sometimes it's automatically on if you have the ability to have fidelity cast whack that on and then whack to show more and shove to max uh, VRAM scale um, between 80 and 100 depending on how good your GPU is. I have on 80 because I'm a 3090, but if you have like a 4090 or 4080 or, you know, depending on your hardware, whack it up to that. So I, I keep it as that. Um, text resolution low, uh, text res, uh, you know, filter low. Depth of field, it doesn't really matter. You know, I play around with that. Maybe try it off and on. Uh, details all on low. Um, on demand text machine is uh, optimized. So I don't really know much about this, but my understanding is, is that it uses kind of like your, um, you know, your cache to kind of make the FPS slightly better. Um, I kind of leave that off uh, or optimize. I don't know if it's definitely better to have it on or off. Shadow quality is definitely all on low or off if you can uh, and keep the um, environment on low or off. So obviously you save that. Um, view now field of view maxed out um have the ads field of view to effective we, have, we weapon field of view have it to narrow makes it look a bit better third person field of view doesn't make a difference but if you want it oh just do it a vehicle field of view again doesn't really matter narrow maybe it will make it look a bit closer so if you put it to wide you know uh, that'll do and obviously wide again it really doesn't matter about narrow or wide but if you want your weapon to look bigger have it to narrow if you want it to be um smaller have it to wide world motion blur off weapon motion blur off very important otherwise you get like motion sickness uh first person camera movement 50 percent again this is really important if you have it on 50 percent, it reduces your head bubble if you have it on default it would just kind of bubble up and down and it would, it's just really annoying when you're moving about on the map especially if you're um you know trying to break people's ankles and stuff right audio again adjust this to your to your liking i'm not gonna you know don't bother copying that but um in an enhanced uh a headphone mode is something that i will be playing around with in a separate video so make sure you stay tuned for that I have the mixes Treyarch mix. A lot of people do like a bass boost. Try it out for yourself. And obviously, I have mute license music because I'm a streamer on, but everything else kind of keep it the same. If you have tinnitus, there's an option to turn it on as well. Uh, interface, these are really good. Um, so, telemetry settings are on if you want to see your FPS and all that type of stuff. Connection meter, you don't really need it on, but you know, depends on the person. Uh, gameplay HUD. Now, I have it to standard, but also Classic is really good. If you're playing Zombies, Classic is definitely really good. Try it out for yourself. Uh, minimap shape, put it to square. Minimap uh, compass, I put it on the, uh, the minimap. If you put it on horizontal, it'll be on the top of your screen. I think it's quite distracting. Um, and yeah, kind of all this type of stuff is, is a default. Um, you know, minimap settings, you can make it a little bit bigger if you want to. I've kind of got a default. I'm going to be playing around with this in the future. Uh, but you kind of want to get this video out so you going to have the base settings. Now, if you guys want the color settings that I have when I play in game, I know a lot of you guys come to my streams and be like, oh, you, your settings look amazing. Color filter on to one and wield intensity interface settings to that. Try out, you know, try all of them out, but I find that this one is better. Um, and, you know, uh, I put it to, you know, either both or interface. You know, it depends. If you put it to interface in-game, you do notice a difference as well. So, I think these two settings, I don't know why the why that is a thing. Because, for some weird reason, it, it just works with both anyway. Um, to kind of go off, I have crosshairs. That usually is on. Um, I usually have on static and show more. You can kind of change it around and change the colors. Definitely something I'm going to be doing soon in the future. But yeah, make sure you keep it static. Definitely worth it. Uh, hit markers on. Definitely. Uh, damage numbers, base. I, I'm not a big fan of it. So, but try it for yourself. I kind of know the rest is kind of default. Um, but yeah, that's kind of really it. Uh, that's kind of the settings that I'm running in currently in Black Ops 6. Give them a go. Let me know what you guys think. And stay tuned for the next uh, Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 6 video. Appreciate it, guys. Take it easy. Peace. Bye-bye.